Hi there, this is Snola. In this video we're gonna take a closer look at RAID 1, also known as mirrored drives. How does it work? Well, you still require a minimum of two hard drives and what happens in the RAID system is that the RAID controller will keep two identical sets of data. An advantage with RAID 1 is increased read speed. We'll take a look at that a little bit later in the video. And redundancy. And the disadvantage is capacity yield, or as I should have written, written low capacity yield. Well, here we have the example. It's the same as in the RAID 0 video. We have two hard drives, one uh, terabyte on each of them. We have our trusty RAID controller. And this is what the operating system sees. It sees one one terabyte hard drive. This is what I meant by low capacity yield. You have two disk drives, uh, each with a one terabyte uh, storage capacity but the operating system only sees one terabyte so you only get half of your total capacity and when the operating system you're using is writing data to the drive the RAID controller will simply take the data uh, represented by these 8 bits and it will write them to both the hard drives. So hard drive 1 and 2 will be identical. That's why it's called a mirrored RAID array. You see here, it uh, just takes data and puts them on both drives. And it's gonna keep chugging like that forever, <laughs> hopefully. Um, what happens in the case of a hard drive failure. You see here hard drive number two just failed and all the data on hard drive number one, no, number two is gone. But because of its mirror drive, all the data is still available in hard drive number one. So the operating system will be able to read and write to the disk drive and no data is gone. All your data is safe. And uh, what happens when you put a new drive into the system? Well, either automatically or manually, you can rebuild the system. Uh, what happens is that the RAID controller will just take the data from disk number one and copy it to disk number two. And it will do that until all the data is safely copied. And the result is that you have rebuilt your disk array and you did not lose a single file. And that's a good thing if you ask me.